Semiconductor chip scarcity began in early 2020, and as supply continued to decrease, demand kept on rising. Due to a shortage of semiconductor chips, automakers such as Ford, BMW, and Daimler were forced to suspend or pause production and assembly lines. It has customers frustrated with delayed orders, inflated prices, and has cost most manufacturers millions. Meanwhile, in the second quarter of 2021, Tesla delivered over 309,000 vehicles, making $11.9 billion in revenue and $1.1 billion in profit. What was their secret? How did they do it? Join us today as we will reveal the secret behind Tesla's success as it avoided the semiconductor shortage. But before we go any further, it's important to understand what these chips actually do. Semiconductor chips are basically mini-computers that run a specific task. They're used in almost every industry and to build a vehicle, you need lots of them. A vehicle manufacturer will use over a thousand of these chips per car. They handle everything from the heated seat to radio to crucial engine management tasks. A generic chip can cost just a few cents, but more powerful ones that run complex features such as driver assist range up to $50 per chip. As I mentioned, semiconductor chips are designed for a specific task, which means they're very good at one thing. But the drawback is that they aren't interchangeable. You wouldn't be able to use a chip that powers your electric windows and repurpose them to control the infotainment system. As the world went into lockdown, Asian countries were some of the worst affected. China is the largest producer of semiconductors, with Taiwan second and South Korea third. These three countries make up 64% of global production. Factories and plants were closed and workers were sent home as production was halted. During that time, automakers and dealers in the Western Hemisphere cancelled new car orders for fear of being left with unsold inventory. However, the opposite was true. After the first shock of the pandemic, the situation altered rapidly and buyers returned in search of new vehicles. However, it was too late at this point because automakers were competing to acquire semiconductors in an already competitive market against the electronics industry, which required them for mobile phones, computers, video games, and home gadgets. The knock-on effect also spread to the chip producers. They faced a lack of access to raw materials, which are often imported from other countries. The prices of these raw materials had increased, and the export companies also had restricted working conditions. Furthermore, even when they began manufacturing, pent-up demand for mobile phones and computers was so great that chip makers couldn't keep up with the industry, forcing them to prioritize. The electronics industry outnegotiated everybody agreeing to higher prices immediately. The automobile sector has been plagued by supply constraints that have made meeting production and delivery targets nearly impossible. Meanwhile, Tesla has been setting records quarter after quarter. The total number of vehicles sold by the U.S. electric automaker in 2021 reached nearly 1 million in the fourth quarter. While these figures may appear tiny in comparison to Toyota and GM, chip shortages have had a significant impact on Tesla's production, with Musk stating in January that part shortages were one of the key reasons the company would not introduce any new vehicles this year. Semiconductor shortages have hit the auto industry hard, as each vehicle requires thousands of chips. Furthermore, Tesla's electric vehicles rely on more than a single semiconductor chip. Each makes use of a diverse set of chips for everything from seat belts to airbags. This means that a shortage in any department could have an impact on Tesla's total delivery. Elon Musk stated that the main issue for Tesla was the chip module that regulates the airbags and seat belts. In 2021, semiconductor shortages would cost automakers an estimated $210 billion in lost revenue, or 7.7 .7 million automobiles. In the midst of what Musk refers to as the chip drama center, the EV manufacturer boosted its focus on innovation. Tesla's smart use of semiconductors has reduced the number of chips needed to manufacture automobiles, allowing the car maker to maximize output. The chip scarcity, according to Musk, has worked as a forcing effect for us to lower the number of chips in the car. Tesla purchases over 1,600 unique silicon parts from 43 semiconductor firms, and discovering novel uses for chips has allowed the company to save money while increasing production. Reducing the amount of semiconductors utilized improves end product dependability because there are fewer failure locations, Musk explained. Tesla has to rely on its software focus to make alternatives work, which is why the automaker has fared better than others during the shortage. 
During the company's second quarter earnings call, Musk described how Tesla had to update its software to be compatible with different chip supply sources. The automobile industry as a whole is experiencing semiconductor shortages, yet this solution has kept Tesla afloat as other automakers collapse. According to Musk, it simply took Tesla a few weeks to update the programming after switching replacement processors. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, stated that the company has been able to employ alternatives for chips that are difficult or impossible to obtain. Tesla has an advantage over OEMs due to its capacity to design parts and components in-house. The electric motor giant can adapt parts and even swap to newly available parts, which most other manufacturers either do not want to do or do not have the ability to do instantly. During this time, Tesla's prices have risen. Because the business doesn't rely on the outmoded dealership model, it has complete control over its prices. Because demand for electric vehicles is so strong and delivery periods are so long, it may be able to boost prices to cover rising costs while not affecting demand in such a way that deliveries collapse. It's also worth noting that Tesla is as much a software company as it is a car company. The automaker is always inventing and it doesn't rely on typical model years, mid-cycle updates or full redesigns. Instead, the business makes hardware improvements as needed and in-vehicle software is regularly and remotely updated via Tesla's free over-the-air software update capability. Tesla's emphasis on software and vertical integration is certainly critical to its ability to quickly adjust and overcome challenges such as the worldwide chip shortage. In addition, the company owns and administers its network of public fast charging stations, as well as its own stores and service facilities. Nonetheless, Tesla's capacity to meet growing demand has been hampered by a restricted supply of parts. When possible, the automaker is seizing control of its supply chain, aggressively investing in battery production and lithium refining to ensure it can satisfy future demand. If our suppliers do not resolve these issues, we will, Musk stated. Tesla has even gone so far as to offer the delivery of automobiles with missing parts, which will be later installed when the parts become available or replacements are secured. To keep the ball rolling, the corporation simply eliminated certain functions entirely, or at least temporarily. Some Tesla vehicles, for example, were delivered with missing or watered-down USB ports, and front passenger seat lumbar features were removed. Tesla didn't reveal the exclusion, which has already affected tens of thousands of vehicles supplied to customers in China, Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, and other areas of Europe. It was unclear whether Tesla would make similar changes to automobiles made in or imported to the United States. The absence suggests that Tesla had to make changes beyond what the firm has publicly disclosed to keep its factories and sales running while the world faced a semiconductor scarcity that affected everything from vehicles to laptop computers. It also implies that Tesla can't convert all of its present vehicles to driverless vehicles with a simple software update, contradicting what CEO Elon Musk previously stated. Tesla has faced manufacturing issues throughout its history, but the completion of its Shanghai factory in 2019 enabled the company to increase production, grow profits and gain market share outside of North America. These latest developments reflect fresh pressures as the corporation moves farther into the mainstream and strives to provide for its customers. Musk appears to be confident about the ending of the semiconductor chip shortage. However, he acknowledges uncertainty, adding that it is unclear what will happen. And as the scarcity enters its third year, it has proven to be anything but predictable. Even Musk admits that the sector is not out of the woods yet. He explained how Tesla is still struggling with the effects of the shortage, noting that the company's development trajectory for the year would be determined by the semiconductor issue. Do you believe Tesla's modifications will have an impact on its sales in the future? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything tech and automobiles. Until next time, stay driven.